Alright, back here on Terraforma Craft and Greg Tech 5. Gonna give this another shot. I made a new world. Um, this one looks like it's better for finding clay. So we can at least get started. Show some of you guys that. Shut up, pheasant. Some of you guys that don't know much about terraforma craft. And why did that turn to hematite? Not that it matters, they're both iron, but. Alright, we got Galena and we got Bismuth. Bismuth is good if we can find. Um. Sphalerite, which is zinc. There's really no reason if you're uh, new to this to pick up most of what I'm picking up, the uh, Galena, if you're just playing Terra Firma Craft. Uh, Galena is lead only and it's useless in regular terra firma craft but since we have greg tech in here we will need it so we might as well collect it now these are good to find um, this one's kinda weird though cause it really shouldn't be where it is um, it's good to find because it's considered seawater, salt water. And you can eat the seaweed. And early on in Terra Firma Craft, getting food is one of the more important things to do. Otherwise, you will starve. And I'll go into what I'm actually doing right now in a little more detail for you guys in a little bit. Right now I'm just trying to get to the first nighttime cycle and have what I need to survive the first night. And then during the first night I'll kind of explain napping and all that stuff and right now I'm just trying to collect me some food and the main thing you gotta do usually it's good to do before your first night is find a patch of clay um, as long as you find food before your first night cycle you probably will survive the night as long as you uh, do one of two major things which is either keep your butt moving or find somewhere relatively safe to hunker down but Unless you find clay, there's not a whole lot of places that are relatively safe to hunker down. Now this is exactly what we need right here. Oh, and this is beautiful. It's got malachite, which is copper. That means that there is malachite somewhere under this area. Now that does not mean that it is right in the surface layer but typically because it's malachite it will be it could be anywhere in any of the levels of rock below you but now we're going to get us some clay like I said getting clay in terraforma craft is one of the first things you want to do because basically that's how you do your cooking there are no furnaces 
Um, I actually have furnaces unlocked to where you can make them. But if I don't have it already, by the time I uh, put this mod pack out, because I'm going to try to uh, host it out to everybody um, from my Dropbox, and I'll post a link to that on the video, and uh, probably start a thread on the Greg Tech forum. Where people can ask questions and all that good happy stuff but uh, there will be no furnaces uses usable for cooking regular terraforma craft stuff so as you can see this does not fall that's the main reason why you want to find it before your first night because we can actually use this as a makeshift shelter um, pack rat was actually the first person I seen uh, use this little trick Um, most of the time I will not be down there, but it's just nice to have it in case I need it. Um, the other thing you need is this cut grass, which is like straw. I think it's called thatch. Straw. Um. And you're gonna need wood. Now, if you want to regrow these trees, you gotta cut them. You can either use a knife or you can use, you know, whatever's in your hand. But that goes slower. Um, I think you can use an axe to go a little faster too. Um, but there's rocks everywhere, so since it goes a little faster, I'll do this. And it also will give you random sticks, which are good to have. Um, unlike vanilla Minecraft, uh, you cannot stand on leaf blocks. So you can walk right through them. You can actually use these to hide in from some mobs. Most mobs, I think. Um, but you can't stand on top of them, so don't try to go jumping from tree to tree because you know you're just gonna fall through it and break your dang gone leg um trees grow very very slow in terraforma craft there is you can make bone meal i think with a quern which is like a hand mill um but you can't use it for bone milling trees or crops that shit just don't work um, food items as you can see I'm shifting so I'm shift clicking my food up there what I'm doing is I'm putting it together you see the amount for this one's 21.4 ounces this one's 15.1 ounces and when I take this one out it'll be 36.5 so that way you can hold a lot more together doesn't take up as much space and then you can always go like this and cut a piece off with your knife if for some reason you need to make a smaller piece and you can cook seaweed hey excuse yourself mister burping in my ear. Um, another thing you gotta do in Terraforma Craft is drink. I'm hitting right click so I can sip. If you're playing the real old Terraforma Craft, you're actually used to, as generic would say, drink from your feet. Because you just stand down here and you'd suck it up through your feet. 
Oof, we got a fruit tree right here too. That's good. Fruit's a good thing to find. I should have grabbed them bushes back there. Okay, it's getting nighttime. So let's get our holes dug here. I want to space them at least a block apart. And what these are for is we're going to make our vessels. These are clay vessels. These are able to hold four items or four types of items. Four stacks of items per slot. Now everything in Terra Firma Craft has like a weight to it. Some things can stack in 64. Some things can only stack to like 16. Um, this is a vessel, a large vessel. This is kind of like your rudimentary chest, um, but it's very different on the way it works. And I will show you. Now you shift and right click, and that sits it down there. And now we need to make a jug. This will be for drinking. And if you have the um, shit, spiders are a pain in the ass in Terra Firmacraft. They never want to die. This is actually the main reason why I made my hidey hole is because they are a bitch to kill and you really need somewhere that you can duck into to make new tools now you see the potion effect he has on him that means he's slowed right now from taking damage you will actually get the same thing on you um, if you take too much damage from a mob and so so far we're okay now the five clay that I was making um, something out of a minute ago is gone because I had to kick off of it so I basically lost those five but there's plenty here so it's not a real big deal um, there's our second jug now I'll go ahead and make two more vessels I usually keep a lot of these around just for storing stuff in and there's one other main thing we're gonna need But we'll make that in just a minute. After I dig up some more clay. Alright, those three are ready to go. Come over here and let's go down here. There's five, that's enough for what I need. And now we're gonna go like this and there's four clay bowls and we're going to need one more hole now these you can use to make uh, food on food in or what we're actually going to use the first one for is a gold pan so we can try to find some material some copper and stuff like that now what I was doing was right clicking in each one of those holes to put some straw down in them 
Now I'm going to do the same thing with these logs. You will spend a lot of time cutting down trees in Terra Firma Craft. And I got to make a new one. Okay, napping, you right click with rocks in your hand. You have to have at least two. And then you just take out the pieces you don't want. This is an axe head. Axes are about the best weapon you're going to get for like zombies and spiders, maybe creepers, uh, before you can make a sword. There is no sword until you uh, can get to metal. Hopefully, if everything goes right, we'll have our first medal by the second day, second night, end of the second night. You always want to stay on guard when you're out here in the dark. Because you never know what's going to wander up on you. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, now we're going to make a fire. And to do that, we need to put three sticks on the ground. And we need to hold right click on our fire starter. And there we go. We got a fire. Now, if you put a, tor a stick in there, it'll make two torches. Now, you can only make torches this way. You can't make them with... Uh, coal or charcoal you have to light them now if you don't have a fire lit and you need a torch you can just right click a regular torch and it'll give you one torch so doing it this way is cheaper on the wood but doing it this way is a lot quicker because you can just spam the hell out of it now you can start your kilns up by doing these the same way you started your fire pit over there or you can do it this way like throwing a match on it it's got to land right on it and that will start it up too now we got our pit our pit kilns up and running and let's go ahead and cook up this seaweed now you see if you hit left control that'll open up your taste menu that'll tell you um, if it if you like the sweetness sourness saltiness bitterness or savory taste of it and my fire's out. So forget it, we're not cooking it. We're just going to eat it. Excuse you. Piggy head. Now you'll notice we only have our normal crafting grid. Um we'll actually have a full crafting table in here but we have to make a crafting table first now since we found malachite around here I actually want to do a little bit of digging now once we get down to metal or stone we aren't going to be able to mine it because we can't make a pickaxe. Let's turn these block sounds down just a little. Um, I'm not. 
I'm in the wrong daggone thing. And blocks go down to about there. That should be a little bit better. The dirt's a lot deeper here. You're going to end up with a whole lot of dirt. And you'll notice that dirt falls. So you can't really build with it. If we stack it up like this, it's going to fall. Gravel does the same thing. Cobblestone does the same thing. Um, only uh, chiseled stone, stones that are uh, smoothed with a chisel won't fall. Um, there's a few other blocks that won't, but not many. And there is a way of making them not fall. But we'll get into that later. You also notice if uh, you go to Terraforma Craft and download this and just the regular Terraforma Craft. Um, you may notice that there's different colors of dirt and gravel. Every different kind of biome, or not biome, every, uh, every different kind of rock type has its own corresponding dirt and gravel. So you can kind of tell what kind of stone will be underneath you if you can recognize the dirt. Alright, that's got to go down some more. Good gravy. I don't think that's changing anything. It's making the falling sound lower, but the digging sound is still kind of loud and you will go through a butt ton of rocks now what I usually do with all this dirt is I try to find a ravine and throw it in it that way I'm moving it from place to place and not storing it in chests where I don't need it. Now, with the way I have um, the IC2 crops setting up with our my, mine tweaker, we're actually going to need a lot of dirt. We may not need as much as what we're going to mine, but we will need some because there are no vanilla plants other than pumpkins but those have been converted into terra firma craft pumpkins and you can't get seeds from them and you can't grow them. you can make them jack-o-lanterns they're one of the other blocks that don't fall But uh, I actually mine tweaked in. Okay, so far there's no malachite. Um, I actually mine tweaked in so you can get pumpkin seeds, and we're going to have to test being able to actually grow them. Piggy, piggy, piggy. Once we get to that point. Um, probably ought to come down here and get me a drink. Slurp, slurp, slurp. This will be a lot easier once I get a jug. Which actually I'll leave a little bit of thirst so I can show that to you. Once these things get done, they take forever. I think it's like five minutes. And 
and some of these uh, lo uh, planks you get out of these different logs are really pretty. Oh, if you need to store wood, shift right click, you get a log pile, smack them right in. Alright, these are our vessels. They hold four things, so we can throw our dirt in there for now. And then you can just store it right on the ground. And we'll put our gravel and some more dirt. These are nice to keep a couple on you in case you need to store things. I like to keep food in them and stuff like that. Now, this is the large, the small vessel, or large vessel. This can collect water if it's unsealed. This is where the water goes. Or it can be used as a chest, basically. And you can store vessels in them. You can actually put things in your vessels then put it in here and then seal it now I'll show you this real quick shift and right click pick some up now we'll do this we'll seal it now it's got a lid on it now if we break it and we pick it up we're overburdened we cannot move I'm actually hitting the forward and back key and I can't go nowhere. So you grab it and you put it right there. And now it is on my back. And I can now walk. Carrying it on my back. So it's a nice way if you got to move a large load of stuff from one place to another. You can use these. Barrels work the same way. Um, we'll get to barrels later. They're basically a wood version of this that hold a little more. Get your grass out of there. Okay, vessel. Vessel. And give me the jug. Now take our jug down here. Fill it up with water. And then... Shift right click, take a drink. Now these will randomly break. They don't have durability, but they will break. Also, you can use them to put water into and take water out of. Very nice to have. Alright, now we need our bowls. And the first one is going to be a gold pan. Now what we're going to do, because we don't have a way to mine for our minerals right now. So we're gonna come down here to this water. We're going to get a flow. And we're gonna take a little gravel. Now we could use the gravel that we collected up there, but I don't want to go back to get it. And I forgot to bring it. So now we will sit this right here. Take our gold pan, right click it, and then right click on there. Now see, we got a platinum nugget. Something very useful in Greg Tech. Not useful at all in Terra Firma Craft. And we also got copper. That's what we're actually looking for. We need 10 units of metal to make an ingot or 10 of these because we need a hundred and they're 10 a piece 100 units is one ingot so we'll just do this over and over just like if you were out prospecting for gold you'd sit there all day just going through it. Now eventually you'll have a sluice which will do this kind of automatically for you. And you can get more stuff with it. But for the first 
little bit of material this works and usually if I have a pretty decent day I can get just about what I need in the first day now I seriously doubt that it's gonna happen because well you can hear the music it's about that time ah oh, crud that's gonna shut off my water get out of there but we got two things of copper and we have where is the five malachites we have seven because both of those are copper so we only need three more so we're actually going to sit here and work through the night a little bit Let's see what we can get Hear the frogs. Sounds like we got the uh, Muppets around here. We got pigs and frogs. There are no actual frogs. It's just nighttime ambient sound. There's crickets you can hear too. I don't know if you guys can hear them. There's another one. So now we just need two more. And hopefully nothing sneaks up on me. And bites me in the butt. Now eventually it'll get to the point where it'll say this area is overworked. And we'll have to go to a different chunk. But this one's actually working for a pretty good amount of time here. Usually you can do about six pieces, I think. Four to yell at you. There's a piggy. Are you a Miss Piggy or are you a Mr. Piggy? There is actually male and female animals. So you actually have to breed them properly. We'll get into that way down the line. And there's five. That gives us ten. So, hey, we got a pig that came over here. All right, piggy. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our vessel. We're going to throw these ten in here. We're going to drop it in there. Now, if we want to be efficient about this, we should get um, some more wood and some more clay well we're gonna need more wood because I don't think I got enough in there um, but if we want to be efficient about this we should get some more clay and fill that hole with vessels or bowls or jugs or molds or something like that Um, I'm going to actually have to put one thing in there, which is the mold that I want to make. So I'm going to have to get a little bit more clay. Because in this, you have different molds for each 
type of tool you want to make. Um, I do believe they only work for uh, copper and copper alloys. I don't think you can mold iron or steel or anything like that. Never really tried. So by then you'll have an anvil and get to beat your tools out. And that should be enough clay. Do, do, do. Now we're going to do pickaxe. Which is like that. Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? Got mining on the mind. Okay. What we actually need first is a saw. Which is like that. And then with the other, we're going to attempt a pro pick. See if I can do this right. Nope. Two, three, one, one, one. one. There we go. I was down too far. Alright, I'll drop these in here. And put this on. And we got just enough wood. That's one extra. Alright. I'll light this baby up. Hope that pig stays the hell away from the fire, or else we're going to have a cooked pork chop for dinner. I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here. We'll run up to about 37 minutes. And I'll come back and we'll have some copper ready. And we'll make our first tool. So hopefully, y'all enjoy this. I'm going to try to do this as long as my computer will handle it and not lag out too bad I'm hoping to eventually get a server to run this on but gotta make some money to afford it get out of there you stupid pig yeah just run right back in there yeah run in there again you really are dumb you better not die in that fire you about a stupid pig, you know that? You're a girl pig. You have no tusks. And you're an idiot. Get over there. Get your ass over there somewhere. No. Here, go in the house. Go. No. Stay away from the fire. You're going to die, stupid. Anyways, I'll try to save this pig and get the hell out of here. Um... If there's anything y'all need to know about that I didn't tell you, leave me a comment. Leave me a message on Twitter. I'm probably going to end this and start it right back up. So anything you uh, comment about in the first one, I won't get till the end of the second one. So talk to you later.